Hey, stating counsel, you're not going to offer any contradictory psychiatric testimony? Yes, Your Honor. On the basis of the staff report, Norman Bates is judged restored to sanity and is ordered released forthwith. What about his victims? Don't they have any say? Can you restore them? Madam, please sit down. This matter is being represented by the district attorney. Your Honor, my name is Mrs. Lila Loomis. I have a petition here signed by 743 people against Norman Bates' release, including the relatives of the seven people he murdered. Doesn't that give me the right to speak out? Has the district attorney advised Mrs. Loomis about her rights in this matter? Yes, Your Honor. I explained that her petition had no effect on these proceedings. Have you explained to her that this hearing is Why a matter of law and not a motion? Don't you realize yes, they're going to release a homicide Mrs. Loomis, I'm going to ask you to sit down or I'll have the bailiff remove you from this courtroom. If you have any further questions, please discuss them with the district attorney after this hearing. Why bother? It's all too obvious. Our courts protect the criminals, not their victims. Congratulations, Norma. Turning now to calendar number 71143. That's all there is to it. People versus Taylor. Let the record reflect the defendant is present with counsel. Just like I said, they let him go. I'll call you later. Are you satisfied, doctor? Turning a murderer loose on an innocent public? Mrs. Loomis, Norman was not convicted of murder. He was found not guilty by reason of insanity. And since he is no that longer is insane, just he has legal, much hocus, of a right hocus. to his own life And when as he you murders again, you will be directly responsible. 